I heard the news I had cancer right after I got back from a missions trip during seventh grade. I was at my lake house and uh, my parents, they gave me a bowl of ice cream and they were being really nice and I was kind of like, what's up with that? And they were like, well, we just got back your MRI from your um, biopsy and you have cancer. shocked. I always heard that cancer was a really bad thing, but I never really realized that I could have it or that I would have to know what it was and go through what every other cancer patient went through. I know right now I have several friends that are dealing with cancer and their parents having it and their friends having it. And I would just say to them that God has a purpose for their lives and since he called them and according to his purpose that he will work everything together for good. It was really hard seeing my little brother go through this just because it's my little brother and it, I felt so helpless. I felt like I couldn't do anything to help him. And one of the hardest times personally was when he lost his hair. I think that was what made it final for me because you see cancer patients all around with no hair on. And you just see that as he walks through there, this little boy who had so much energy, he was always the life of the party. And seeing him with no energy, seeing him on the couch doing nothing, and you just see that that's not him. That's not who he really is. Four years before I got cancer, my grandfather died of small cell lung cancer and I just remember him never complaining and never giving up and so when I learned I had cancer, I decided that I was going to be just like him and that he was going to be my mentor and hero through this. James 1, 2 through 4, which says, Consider all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete. blessed me with many miracles, like great family, great friends, and the Lord being there for me. That just, it really did open my eyes, and it just showed me that even when I'm at my worst, I am at my best too, because I know that God's there for me, and so are all the other people. There's something I could tell people. It would just be that we're all fragile that really life can change in a second. And as I think about the comfort and security that we all crave, the Lord is the only one that can give that to us. And His ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And even though His ways are so much different than our ways, we have to look to Him because He's the only one who can truly, truly heal our wounds and make us whole again. for life in the American Cancer Society. They really helped me because I knew that I had a lot of support and people were there for me. And at the very end, I started crying because I knew how blessed I was. We raised 51,319 dollars of points this day! Jeremiah 29:11. 
For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to hurt you, plans to give you hope for a better future.